That's one of the better pictures um, ever kind of provided in color and lots going on there. You think you won't get questions about that. You're into some pretty heavy plumbing now. Who knows what this is? Brenton? Gas, oil, and sand separator. Very good. Gasoline, sand, and oil separator. That's very good. You look at that and you go, oh, wow. I'm going to show you one that, you know what? The plumber, the person who installed it, somehow got his plumber's license, but had no idea what he was doing. So this is an illustration of one showing a lot of critical information. The A minimum, the C minimum, the B minimum, they're all part of a table. Here's what it looks like in the field. The plumber actually had no clue what to do. So these two pipes that we're seeing down here below, yeah, right in there. Not even close to where those pipes needed to be. Do you see any pipe in that drawing right there that look like that going into that interceptor? Nope. It is not that difficult. This thing had to be taken apart and put together three times before he got it right and thought I was a dick. And I was, because what that thing we're holding right there, this was actually a student from a trade school that came with me, was on inspections with me on these jobs. What is that student holding? Uh, I believe that's Stadia Rod. Stadia Rod, very good. Most people can't remember Stadia Rod. They go story pole, grade stick, but it's Stadia Rod, very good. Very important tool when you're out in the field and you're going to encounter doing this type of work. Now, here's a plumber that bid a commercial job. Vehicles were going to be in repair garages. It wasn't a big repair garage. It was about, I think it was six bays. That's all they were doing. No clue. Not at all.